Hello, everybody. Okay, so it is currently 1.03. Um, so I am supposed to be coming on at 1.11, which gives me some time ahead to help everyone get grounded and also ask any questions before we actually get started. So this is just what I felt called to. So um, if you want to share this out, this is a perfect opportunity. So that's exactly what I'm going to do is give myself a little bit of time. Because in this two, 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 two energies, I see two people hopping on. Please say hello. And um, the other thing is if you put your name in the comments, that means you want me to focus on your energy today. So you have to give me permission. So by putting your name in, that's you giving me permission, okay? Um, again, if you have any questions related to the healing, now is a great time to ask. And if you wanna get your questions in early, then you can ask any specific questions that you would like insight into, okay? So what I'm doing today I'm going to share this so and in the 222222 energy that we've been working with um, it's all about slowing down so if you watch my needs versus wants video that I posted underneath YouTube today hopefully you were able to catch that more of this stuff will make sense um, same thing um, the distant healing Reiki that I did on someone um, two days ago uh, you might get benefits from as well and today I'm also going to be working with uh, my full moon painting that I did okay um, so if you want to join my retreat on the sixth, I have three spots left and we're gonna be doing some energy work um, meaning like oh, for you not for other people but we're gonna start to learn how to kind of tap it which is great so if you're already a healer that's fabulous. We're just going to go deeper with that. If you're not a healer, that's okay. You might shift over into becoming a part of that category. All right. Um, so I'm going to share this out while we're waiting for 111 to hi, Joanna. So again, if you would like to be a part of the healings, the clearings, um, the Akashic Records energy at 111, then you have to put your name in the comments and you can also tag a friend given that you're, they've given you permission um, to connect, then I will work on whosever, whosever names are in there. Um, so I wanna kinda emphasize on that because not everybody um, is following me and not everybody can, um, can see, okay? So I'm just gonna give you guys a couple minutes to share this out, tag a friend. Um, and I'm also going to share this as well, focusing on dating again or staying single to focus on other things. Okay. Um, so if you want to put your name in the comments um, or any friends, then when you do that, that's giving me permission to go into your energy at 111. Okay. Um, this 111 feels really strong because it's all about manifesting and attracting the things that you want. So jo Joanna was just saying, she's really working on love, basically. Um, and I was doing love readings before Valentine's Day, so I'm interested to see um, how people were feeling around Valentine's Day based on, based on some of those love readings. Um, but today, the needs versus wants video that I was discussing was very much like about health and really connecting it and love is involved in health as well because it's about relationship health um, there's so many different aspects right so the reason why I wanted to come on here early is to give people time to share to tag their friend if they want to be a part of the healing and also for us to get grounded so those three things are really important share if you feel called to get people a part of the healing tag a friend or put your own name in the comments that way I can see that there's permission and get grounded so bring your crystals um, I sell crystals as well this was the one I felt called to this one is $56 it's pyrite so as we're talking about manifesting um, pyrite's really great for attracting money 
and amethyst is also really great for tuning in. So again, if you want to join the retreat that I'm offering, um, we're going to be doing a lot of tuning in, but I just want to throw all that stuff out there so that people know um, what I have going on. As I said, you might not follow my posts. Um, hopefully you're underneath my business page, my Instagram, and you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. And then I'm also today working with Amethyst. So the reason why I'm showing you this is because um, this is how I set up my space. And when you're on the receiving end, it's also important that you have a sacred space. So if you can catch us on the replay, that's great. Just uh, put in hashtag replay and then I can see because I think it's important to acknowledge um, that you want to be a part of the space. If you're on the outside and you don't want to be a part of things and you just want to listen, maybe next time you'll want to be a part of it because you will feel even more than you are from the outside looking in, okay? Linda. Okay, awesome, Linda and Donna. Okay, and I do have health concerning issues at the moment. Okay, Joanna. So if you want to put your name in the comments and you want me to um, focus on some of that, then I can because this is exactly what I'm looking for people to do. Is um, It's a free opportunity for people to connect to um, getting answers, receiving healing, and also receiving the clearings that I'm offering through the Theta Healing downloads. Okay, so you can benefit with this like or through this on a replay as well all right so if you put your name in later that's you saying i'm open to receiving this and every theta healing download that i offer you must say yes to so if you say it inside of your head that will still work but by actually putting it in the comments we're going to attract it even more okay so um, i'm using these crystals to help me connect because of course when i'm working with multiple people there's more messages coming in and so it's really important that i'm creating this space for myself all right so if you don't own crystals amethyst is a great one to start with the bigger the better when it comes to energy and um, the reason and holding things um, in your pockets and also wearing things as necklaces, which I also sell, um, are great as well. So it's like five dollars for an amethyst crystal that I sell. You get an amethyst crystal in your lavender hydrosols that I sell, etc. OK, um, but I just wanted to share that information, the importance of this connection and the importance of grounding. OK. So it's one, one, one. All right. So, so far I have, hello. So if you put your name in the comments, so I've, I've said all that, then that's great. Then that means you want to be a part of it. So, so far I have Donna and Linda. All right. And again, if you want to share this out, that would be fabulous. Um, and I'm just going to do that right now onto my business page. It's just going to take me one sec and that'll give you guys a chance to put in your name. Things are acting a little strange over here on my end. Things are just moving slowly, which is okay. We're here to take our time. We're not in a rush. All right. Okay. So first thing that i'm going to do so i'm just showing you guys basically how i do a energy session because if you would like to work with me um you can do a one session with me if you want to that was something i wasn't going to do but i decided that i'm still in that space where i'm welcoming in new people to get a feel for what i'm doing so um you can reach out to me if you're interested in in your own online healing session Again, or if you'd like to go to the retreat, you have any questions, you can also book a, a complimentary consultation with me as well. And we can go further in into more details. So we're grounded, are we? Are we grounded? Give me a thumbs up, a heart, say yes if you're feeling grounded. That's super, super important when we're going in to receive energy. I was also feeling um, a lot of tension. So this is often what I'll do when I go into a session. Um, is I'll share what I what I was feeling before I came on and so the first thing that I'm feeling um, so for Linda and Donna is tension that there's tension there 
Um, and this is where I'll be able to pull out specifics um, as we go on. But I'm getting, and you can participate in this healing as well. It's really important that this is an interaction. So I'm getting kind of like tension in the back of my head and it's more around my third eye. So for people that don't know, energy goes through. And I haven't even gone into your energy yet. This is just what I'm feeling even before um, working into your space. So third eye, there's a disconnection. And so it makes sense why I was just talking about amethyst. Because amethyst is a great stone to help us tune in. The other thing too is getting readings is really helpful for learning more about how to tap in. Because we all need other people to help us get into um, deeper into our connection. So although it's great that we can do that, we want to be capable of doing that on our own. But we also want to be able to take advantage of the fact that other people can also show us other things because we need teachers and mentors. So let me know if that connects to anybody that's watching as well. Um, and if it does, just let me know. Joanna sending her. Okay. So Joanna, if you want to, again, I already said if you want to be a part of this, you can write your name in the comments. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm also getting, so before we go into the energy, is just through the painting. So instead of using a card today, I'm using a painting. I just apply different tools to when I feel when I feel called in, okay? Um, I'm getting a lot, with, when it comes to the third eye, even in my own body, I'm getting a lot of shaky energy here. It's like, ah. And to me, we need to connect, right? We have to connect inward. So probably why I was like, give yourself some time to connect. Um, and that might mean that you're feeling out of place, that you're not feeling like you're where you are where you are supposed to be or where you don't feel like you're where you belong, if that makes sense. And again, you can share, does this connect to you? When I'm speaking in a group, it's helpful when we do general readings. Um, but when I teach Reiki level one, I give you an attunement. And when you get that attunement, we connect your third eye and your crown. When I do Reiki sessions, we do that as well. So that being said, I'm going to call Reiki energy in for all the people that said that they want it to be a part of the healing. So Linda and Donna. And, uh, in this, in this painting as well, it was just triggering emotion for me more than anything. I'm getting, there's just a lot going on. As I was saying, there's tension and stress. So in my retreat, I'm going to be doing stress relief techniques. So again, if you're local, you can take advantage. Um, but when there's a lot going on, you might feel overstimulated, um, like you're in a surplus. And it makes sense when I was doing this as a full moon, uh, full moon painting reading. Um, on the back, I put, I am God consciousness. I am connected to the creator. I am conscious, I am gratitude, I am conscien conscience, I am connected. And again, let me know if that connects to any anyone as well. But with that full moon that we had, all the, where we were in over the top, all the excess energy was coming up to the surface. So if you're overly protective, if you're overly conscientious, if you're overly sensitive, whatever the whatever the over word is, and I love to hear how do you feel like you've been over doing things or over exaggerating or whatever your over word is, because we can also clear and release that as well. All right, so nobody's saying anything. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call in my Reiki symbols. Okay, so basically what I'm doing right now, and I'm feeling like that there's a spirit on my left side right now. So again, that's probably connected to you guys. Um, so if you believe in spirit guides or loved ones that have crossed over and you feel comfortable calling in that energy for yourself on the receiving end, we're going to do that as well. So any spirit guides that would like to be present, reminding yourself to ground, gra grab that crystal, take that breath, open up the window, whatever it is for you, smudge. Use one of my sprays, whatever it is. Pull your energy down to the earth if you're able to. We're going to call in any spirit guides that would like to be present. And I'm hearing I'm male. I'm male. So you might have a spirit guide that's male. You might have a loved one that has crossed over. 
that's male that's there to support you. So just acknowledging that. And also acknowledging maybe even any fears that you have or any blocks that you might have around, especially throat chakra wise, around even believing maybe in spirit guides or believing that there is life after death or um, other dimensions, things like that. That's the first thing that I'm getting. So it's gonna be challenging if people aren't uh, sharing what they're feeling. <laughs> But that's kind of like, this is a bit of the process, okay? Now it's totally different when we're doing a personal session. But I keep getting this like sensation, of a pulsing sensation. So I'm also getting that, as I'm calling in the spirit guides um, and loved ones that have crossed over and there being like a male that's passed or a male that's there to support you with any fears or blocks that you might have, even around spirituality or faith or a new love relationship, whatever it is, just connect to all of that if you can. But you might be intuitive and you might be a healer and you might be a reader yourself. You might be getting downloads as well. And just pay attention to that. that there's a message in that for someone specifically, okay? So I'm going to use my Reiki symbols to call in energy specifically for the two people that have asked, Don and Linda. So I'm going Hantra Ze Shonen, Hantra Ze Shonen, Chukure, 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 Seiki, Seiki, Seiki. And then calling in Reiki energy for those people mentioned. And I'm just taking a deep breath as I tune in here. So again, get a glass of water because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on here. And we use water to help us ground, but also to let go of anything that's holding us back. And right away, I'm getting, again, we were talking about tension kind of in the neck. I'm getting tension in the back as well. So if anybody's um, jumping in that has any of those issues, that would be great. Um, but as I tune in to these people, I'm just getting that they don't feel supported. Like that they don't, like in a general theme, they don't feel supported. And so one thing that's been coming up for me recently is support doesn't have to be from people. Support can be from the universe as well. Support can be from spirit, right? So when we go into prayer, if you believe in prayer, usually we, typically we do that when we feel like we need something and we feel like we have nobody else to ask for something. Um, we need some positivity. Um, so gratitude is another way right now. I just feel like teaching some tools as well. Um, gratitude is really great, especially where that's on our, the, our I am statements here. Um, gratitude is really great to just bring ourselves into the present. So you could even share if you're just watching right now, if you don't want to participate, especially what are you grateful for? Cause that will change the energy, the vibration. It's really, really grounding naturally. And also anybody that wants to share, where do you not feel supported, right? Where do you lack trust, especially in this 22222 energy? It's all about working on trust and building up that trust, as we were kind of, somebody was mentioning. Um, yes, lots of downloads. Okay, so do you want to share, Linda, if you feel safe to do so or comfortable um, and join us in Yep. Okay, but I don't know, Joanna, what you feel, what your Yep is. Um, focusing on dating again or staying single, focusing on other things, yes, as we're talking about um, love. Um, so for some reason, the painting keeps coming up. So we already called in Reiki energy. That's the first step. Um, and support as well. But I'm getting um, like a bird with a big beak here. And I'd love to hear what you see in this, in this painting as well. Um, but And I get he's wearing sunglasses and he has his beak. And birds represent support, that you are being supported. So even if you don't feel supported, I'm going to do some theta healing right now. And theta healing for people that don't know is all you have to do is say yes. As I ask for this to be released for you, I'm also adding in positive energy for balance, okay? So we're letting go of things from the past on, like, from all past before now. And then I'm also focusing on future energy as well. So you can start vibrating that by me asking for that for you and you giving me permission to by saying yes. Okay. So if you have more questions about that, you can read my blog or you can connect to me. 
But the fact that this person in, bird person is wearing sunglasses is telling me that you might feel like it's not safe to be yourself. Oh, and there's so much to that. I was recently listening to somebody's video talking about the power of positivity and the law of attraction and that, you know, stay positive, stay positive, like it's not good to be negative and blah, blah, blah. And then this person said that they don't agree with the law of attraction of positive, that to be positive all the time to create positivity, but it's about being yourself. So that's really important for people to feel safe to uh, be supported and to receive that it's safe to speak out loud, that it's safe to be who you really are no matter what the situation is. And that can be really scary. So the ego steps in, right? So would you like to let go of times in your life where you didn't feel supported, whether it was by the universe or God or somebody failed you, wasn't working out in your favor when you went to go do something positive, we'll just say. And let's replace that with having more faith to attract more emotional growth and more spirituality as well and if so just say yes and then you just take a deep breath okay and the first thing that comes up here is blaming that some people might be blaming spiritually things are opening wonderful linda that's nice to hear and, and i'm glad that you're able to reply while we're working on your energy so I'm still getting a lot of back tension, Linda. So do you have any back tension? Because I'm getting like that there's um, some blaming to whoever that belongs to. And when we blame other people for things that have happened in our life, it's like we go into victim mode. Because yes, circumstances have happened, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's all about the other person. They did something wrong. There's always that kind of like, reflection that we can do and that mirror work of what can I change not regret mode what could I have changed what can I change moving forward what can I take from this to move onward right so um, if you could pick an area in your body anybody that wants to do this so I'm still clearing energy by the way you can't see this but I'm doing Reiki healing on the people that that wanted it so again, don't worry about what you can't see. Trust more in that feeling. So if you can close your eyes and connect, it'll be much more helpful. Again, that's part of the grounding for people that don't know. And underneath my YouTube, I have tons of resources and talks and, and um, I explain some of this stuff on a, on a deeper level as well. Not all of it, but I'll still be doing more blogging so I can explain. But I wanna see if she commented anything on anything. Okay, so would you like to let go and release anything that's holding you back from being your true self. And let's replace that with trusting that you can open up your mind to allowing new things or new circumstances that are actually beneficial for you to start coming in. And if so, just say yes. And there's too much thinking. Remember I was saying that there's too much going on in the forehead and we're talking about some Reiki stuff and getting attuned. Too much going on around the head, right? So often we'll do a little meditation to help with this. So I'm going to do that in one second. There's a lot of stuff going on energy-wise. So if you could pick one area of your body where you might be carrying tension, it might be your back, might be your neck, might be your forehead, I'm getting back. Maybe you feel like people are talking about you. This is where the ego likes to come in. So I'll be helping you with this as well. Um, there's a lot of like emotions going on. Um, and again, it's related, feels like it's related to maybe a male that's passed. You might have not gotten closure from a male that died. There is some stuff that maybe is still lingering, that you're unhappy with that person. Um when after people pass away sometimes we we reflect on our life before they died right um and then we kind of go into reflection after they died as well and so again regret might be coming up as well so we want to would you also like to let go of any pain trauma stuck energy frozen energy any old karmic lessons that maybe you didn't get 
around anybody's passing as well, male or female, but if there is a male, just add in, get more specific with it and you can share. Let's replace that with trusting that you can heal from past wounds in your own divine timing. So when you feel like dealing with things or coping with things, you will. And when you don't want to, it's safe for you to express when you feel like expressing and not on somebody else's clock, okay? Good, now I'm getting, now I'm feeling lighter. Thank God, shoulders. Okay, so we're locating the area. Then we're gonna put a shape to it. So it could be a triangle, whatever it is. Now I wanna hit my tinctures. Again, you can put your palms up, close your eyes if you want to come into this receiving space. I'm also feeling a connection to my cat that was male that passed. He seems to want to come up in my, in my own practices. So I'm going to call Reiki energy in for myself as well. And again, there's still time to hop into the healing by writing your name. I'm just getting a lot of like trauma. So again, you could pick something that's traumatic that if you feel safe to pick that. Um, so you're going to put a shape to it. You can share. We're going to put an emotion to it if that feels right. A texture, a color, a sound, and describe it. And once you've described that, we're going to very gently remove it from your body. And we're going to fill it up and purify it with unconditional love in this space outside of your body. So you're just seeing it filling up with love and healing light. And then we're gonna ask it a question, what were you here to teach me? And then you're just gonna share, what do you get when we're in this space? What do you get? Healing heart, Sarah, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna call energy in for you, Sarah. Thank you for sharing. <sighs> Yeah, so there's a lot of throat stuff coming up for people as well because the ego, again, likes to pop in. The ego likes to control. So we want to remind ourselves to be present here. Do anything you can to create more space for yourself. And once you've gotten that answer, whether you want to share it or not, you can share it in the replay as well. We're just going to thank it for giving us this beautiful message. And then we're going to take that new knowledge and bring that shape back into the space where we released it from. And as you take a really deep cleansing breath, just bathing your entire body in white light, trusting that you are safe in this space, that you are protected, that there is unconditional love for you as you hold space for yourself. So aside from me doing that, you're doing that for yourself as well. So showing yourself some love, and again, if you're hopping on, you want to share some gratitude, you can do that as well. You can also say it quietly. I'm encouraging you to say it out loud, but you can say, say it quietly inside of your head, depending on your, your feeling. Now, my left foot is um, like completely numb, holy. So whoever this person is that has lost a male in their life, um, that male that you lost might have had some issues. So although we were just talking about blaming other people, um, it's also like you probably feel justified in feeling like you want to blame as well because there might be, and I'm feeling like gassy all of a sudden, like there's a lot of emotion coming up, which is great. So em keep embracing whatever's coming up for you. And again, you can re-smudge reconnect recenter as well um but do you want to let go of any pain or suffering that you also chose as a result of somebody else's crap um that maybe they put onto you but just any type of energy that you've absorbed from that person that had some issues in your life that's no longer here and oh my god my foot <laughs> so if you're not grounded you can also stomp your feet Um, and the left side is the hurt side, okay? So if you have hurt stuff going on, that's normal. But we want to come back into a space of healing. Holy moly. So um, I'm feeling sad as well. So if you're feeling sad, just let me know. That might be coming up for you as well. Okay, 
So we're going to uh, go into the records as well. So just repeat after me. I now relax my body. I now relax my body. Taking a deep cleansing breath. So if you have still have shoulder tension, anything, just allow yourself to drop that as you find your breath. I'm also getting a lot here, so sometimes I'll take a crystal and it makes it really cold and put it on my put it on my head here. And again, if you have a specific question or message you'd like an answer to, when we go into the records, this is often where you get your answers. Once I go into that space. Okay, and I'm getting um, that you might feel helpless as well. Um, or you have felt helpless, so I'd love to hear if that makes sense to anybody. Makes it hard when people aren't participating because in a regular session, we talk to each other. <laughs> and in this, if people aren't participating, it is super challenging. So I'll reconsider when I'm, when I'm doing things now and how I'm doing them. Um, but there's also like manipulation and guilt. There's a lot of emotions coming up. So feel free to share if any of these emotions um, connect to you. And again, you can just keep brushing your aura with that white light. So if you have Reiki energy, you can pull Reiki energy in for yourself. Um, another way that we can ground is by putting our hands on our knees and then drawing all the energy down. As if you were patting an animal, you're just drawing the energy down. If we have panic attacks, things like that, um, or a lot of anxiety, putting hands on feet, on the ankles, on the knees is really great when we have a lot of fear. And I'm also now doing in-person sessions as well. So if you do um, struggle with grounding, I can kind of show you some of these things when we're in person and, I'll, and I can do some grounding on you. And I'm also getting that there's someone watching that could use some SAC, which I do. Um, that's more in-person spiritual alignment connection where we kind of work on the meridian lines as well. All right, but the reason why we have, like this is coming up, broken meridian lines is often if we've had surgery, so say you had a child um, and you had a C-section or something like that, um, that surgery can actually um, create blocks in your meridian field, in your, in your cords, because you had a surgery. So when we go in and do the spiritual alignment, it actually reattaches cords. And for people that don't know, I'm all about cord cutting. Usually I'm cutting cords. But then we can also, sometimes we have to do the opposite, which is reattach cords to ourselves to get back those feelings so we don't feel it as like numb or suppressed as well, okay? All right, I've had two and getting one more for this BB. Okay, yeah, so that would be, I feel like an in-person session would be better because then you'll actually um, feel more of that connection. Um, and that's where everybody's circumstance is different. So we're gonna say, I now relax my mind. As you repeat after me, I now relax my mind. You're gonna allow yourself to do that. And again, any cords that might still be attached to other people, we wanna see ourselves just snipping that as we relax the mind. Kind of coming into that meditative state even if there's nervous tension still coming up and it upsets you trying to breathe and you feel like you're still trying to control things relaxing the mind we're also going to ask to release the ego and all judgment in this space so asking for that and just taking a moment here again still maybe brushing your aura if you have Reiki training that will be helpful, otherwise you're just kind of grounding. And I now go into the light and, all, and to access all knowledge and wisdom in this space. So that's another thing you can repeat if you want. Take a deep breath. Can relate to a lot. You can send me some info on SAC. Sure. Um, and SAC is one where often we'll do multiple sessions and then by continuing to reattach these cords, like you can do a lot of activating I find and it can be quite deep work. But what I typically do is in my healing sessions, I do a combination of like SAC, uh, Reiki, like 
all kinds of stuff. Um, so I try not to stress too much about needing those multiple sessions. And I really just bring in that tool. However, it is more of a peaceful session. So we, I won't like add in a bunch of talking. I'll just go into that more of that peaceful state, which I think can really benefit people as well. And that's where you get to have a say in how you want me to structure things as well. Um, or you can just kind of let me do my, do my work and it doesn't matter to me. Okay. So as we do that, we're now going to go into the Akashic Records 4 and then just fill in the blank. So again, I'm getting lots of tension. There might be someone that gets like really bad headaches. So please make sure that you're drinking lots of water. If you watched my weekly reading, it was all about um, getting that fresh air, moving your body, taking advantage of when you're not working, really um, re-energizing that way as well. So you could have different reasons for headaches and that's where you can book my a consult with me. Um, I only do one consult per person, of course, because I'm not going to continue to um, offer a consult over and over. But however, when you have questions and you want to sort out what to do and how to do it, then I love to help you with that, okay? So I'll put that link in the, in the comments as well. But just under robinsealing.com, you'll be able to um, go under book online and, and um, pick a time, okay? Um, can you read me? So if you put your name in the comments, Bridget, then you're giving me permission to go in and do some Reiki healing and Akashic Records um, healing. And if you say yes to any of the Theta Healing downloads from the ones before and now, then absolutely. And if you have a question as well, with your permission for me to go in, then we can do that. So if you just repeat everything I just said, um, through what we we're just guiding you through, relaxing the mind, relaxing the breath, relaxing the nervous system, going into the light, accessing knowledge and wisdom for your highest good, and going into the Akashic Records for yourself as well. And also with where you put your name, I'm going to do that for you as well. So I currently have three people. Linda, Donna, and Sarah. So the Akashic Records are now open, okay? And so, again, we're still doing Reiki clearings. There's a lot of stuff going on with people financially. That's the first thing that I'm getting, and I'm like, Boo! I'm feeling buzzed. Um, the Akashic Records are a really beautiful place to be in. Again, if you come to my retreat, we're going to be doing more readings. If you want to get certified, um, I can teach you how to do these types of things, whether it's Reiki or Akashic Records or any other type of um, training you'd like, I can, I can guide you through. But it feels like, again, that's where like money is coming up for people who are not feeling safe, not feeling grounded, not feeling secure. Um, and so I would invite you to, this is where the painting's coming up for me to look into this, is um, really remind yourself of, of the people that you have males in your life right now. So if it's your husband, if it's your brother, um, if it's your a friend that's a male, if it's an animal that's a male, but that masculine um, energy that you do have in your life. Um, focus on the people that love you. Focus on the people that care about you. Focus on the amount of support that you have from these people. So I feel like doing more of a future reading for people right now, um, because I feel like we've been doing a lot of heavier stuff and I'd like to focus a bit more on future. So if you have where we're in this space, if you have a future question, this is a great time to ask, okay? Um, but otherwise I'm getting support, support, support. Um, if you feel like you don't have, currently have support in your life, just let me know. And you can also share why you feel like you don't have support. Because that seems to be a theme. And there's always a theme when we go through this. So I can go back in and retitle like that this is a healing for support. Um, but I'm getting that over the next five weeks, and for some reason five months is also coming up, five and five. Um, over the next five weeks, what I'm getting is that it's really important to have more joy in your life, to have more fun. Um, because it feels like if you're not doing things that light you up, that get you excited, it's easy to kind of feel like you're falling backwards. 
So when it comes to support, it's really important that we're supporting ourselves in this life. So for instance, if I want to be happy today, aside from focusing on my gratitude, what I already have and the people I already have, um, if I want to be happy today, I can manifest that joy. So for instance, say I want to sell this, okay? Because I feel like there's someone out there that really needs it. It's $56, it's beautiful, it has pyrite, any amethyst, we'll just say. I can actually um, do some theta healing on this, okay? So I can ask this to vibrate the energy of a new home or a new space. So I ask for that. And I'm actually getting new energy, that it needs new energy, okay? And as I do that, I'm getting that, that that's gonna happen, okay? So what I'm getting for you guys is to set the intention for things to happen and feel into that. So instead of worrying about what you need to fix, focus on what you want to attract. So again, today, when I did my needs versus wants video, that's what I'm talking about. And so if you didn't watch that, I highly recommend doing that, okay? Um, but the second my I said that, like my mind went into like, ooh, new house. I'm going to get a new house because we're building a new house. Um, and that was on my mind today as well. So even though I went into the crystal, it also triggered something else. So we don't want to get so controlling and caught up in like how something's going to happen, especially when we do future readings, but trust the intuitive messages that you get when you go to do some of this work, if that makes sense. And when typically we can ask questions, can you read my pain? Um, so do you want me to, so do you want to put your, put your name Glenda in so that I can, can I read your energy is what I'm asking you. I know you're giving me permission, but just by putting your name, it would, it would be great because then I can call that energy in. Right. So I'm just kind of showing you how I do how I do reading. So I want to keep continuing the process of it. And I'm also getting with this crystal that there's, because um, we can read crystals as well. I love crystal readings, um, is the, the roots. So the roots attached to this as we're just kind of talking about rooting. And I'm wearing purple today. Um, there's a purple lighter here. There's a purple crystal. There's another purple crystal. There's purple in this. So signs and symbols feel really important for people future-wise over the next five weeks as well. Um, that you're really paying attention to color. So if you want to learn more about like chakras and chakra balancing, learn about the chakras, but also understand what colors you're drawn to and what you keep wearing. Because the crown chakra is purple, and that's all about meditation and spirituality and doing things like Reiki and stuff like that. Because when we do this stuff, it really starts to make us feel lighter. And essentially, I think that's what we're working on over the next five weeks. Joy is light, right? It's the total opposite of heavy. So finding ways that you can do that. Again, that's where you can connect to me. Yes, read my energy. Okay, so all you have to do is put your name in the comments and then I can go into your energy. Okay? That would be great. So um, when we go into the energy of five months, over the next five months, again, I keep going back into the painting, I'm getting to trust. Trust in your relationships, trust in your companionship, trust in the messages that you're receiving. So lately I've been hearing liver, liver, liver. Um, and the message that I get related to that right now, because it changes from time to time, is, um, well, there's tons of stuff, but the liver to me is about diet as well. So, and again, I did that in my needs versus wants video this morning underneath YouTube. So when you focus on diet, sometimes it's about eating things that might not really taste that great, but you know that you need it. So, um, like this morning I took my jasmine tincture. So I also sell those in, um, a four ounce and a, and my small, and my small bottle. Um, and jasmine does not taste great. Um, but I put lemon and water and kept putting a little bit more water in so that when I was taking my tincture, it, it tastes better. And it was so healing and so therapeutic. Um, so when we do things, it's not always going to taste great. But 
that's kind of part of what comes with sometimes things that are super healthy. So over the next five months, just get out of the mindset of like how things taste and focus a little bit more on how, what, what are the benefits of it. Just like when we go to do healing, um, you might not always like the feeling in the moment of crying or, or even feeling like sick sometimes. We'll say when you're detoxing, but you do that to, to get better, okay? You do that because it's, you know what it, how it's going to benefit you. Um, so really trust in the lessons that are coming forward and the messages that you're getting, okay? Glenda, okay, and Joanna, awesome. So now we can go into your energy, guys. Thank you. So Glenda and Joanna, we're going to call in that Reiki energy for you guys as well. And again, if you uh, come on the replay, just do the same thing. Excuse me. <coughs> so right away, there's a lot of throat chakra stuff coming up. So again, grab a glass of water if you have one. I'm going to do a chakra scan for you guys. And um, we're going to go into the Akashic Records for you guys as well. Specifically, Joanna, when I go in to do a chakra scan for you, I get heart and throat. So heart and throat, if we tune into the painting here, what we get for you is uh, the yellow. And I'm getting a astrology as well. So I'm getting for you to continue to focus on, um, like, moon work. Uh, things around the next new moon. I've been called to doing um, an event on the, under the new moon, so you might want to join me for that as well. I'll create that today, actually. Um, so that might be good for you um, because it feels like you're really emotional and it's good to have like that support. So although you weren't in the energy, you were still feeling the energy. That's how sensitive you are, okay? So I do feel like you could also kind of, um, with more learning, um, really start applying a lot of your your intuitive um, gifts as well. So that might be something uh, we could work on together in a, in a reading setting, okay? More about how to tap into those, to those gifts that you have. But nurture yourselves right now. That's what I'm getting. And Glenda, um, Glenda, when we, when we go directly into you, I actually get that you could really benefit from, from this guy. Um, and it feels like Glenda is you are working on endings in that two 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 port hole port hole i guess um that we were just working on it was all about endings and new beginnings so you might be finding that you're constantly shifting and that's not a bad thing i'm in that same space but just remind yourself for every ending there's a new beginning so don't be afraid to keep opening up new doors and new experiences and new opportunities okay so Joanna, since you asked questions, um, and Glenda's saying, can you read my pain? Well, I just get like all around the, the head, right? So Glenda, we were just talking about throat chakra. So I'm getting chakra work for you. So if we were to connect together, I would probably do like a half an hour, just um, Reiki chakra balancing. Um, for you again, we can do that online. You could just reach out to me, but that would be really significant to go to go forward. Um, and um, Linda was kind of talking about shoulders. Just typically, um, just as a general theme, when we have a lot of shoulder tension, we carry the weight on our on our back, on our shoulders, that sort of thing. Sometimes we take on more than what we need to. So I would invite you to let go of things that no longer belong to you as we were just talking about other people's problems other people's issues okay and again linda that's where i could probably help you more with some of the cord cutting and the and the guidance of letting go and i also have a grief ceremony underneath my youtube channel that i was told this week and all of march people need to watch okay as support for you guys so i can also i have to remember these things that i say i'm going to do because i don't have my notebook but I will put in, if you want that grief ceremony, I will put it in the comments, okay? And then Joanna's talking about health concerning issues at the moment. And if you want to be specific, Joanna, you can. I'm focusing on, or staying single to focus on other things. So she's talking about love and health. Um, okay. So when it comes to love, just in general, um, we want to really focus on um, 
getting away from, again, like controlling is coming up, getting away from people that are in their ego and that are controlling, just as in general. Um, because when we're, especially where a lot of male energy was coming up, because the male, the, the left side is about being in the heart space, but why are we attracting people that are controlling? If we're in our heart space, why are we attracting people that are controlling? Are we being too vulnerable? Are we being too open, right? So we want to learn how to shield from other people's energies, as that seems to be another theme with support, developing skills and tools, is that's where the crystals come up as well. So um, this would be another good go-to uh, crystal for you. Um, but as we learn how to like be aware when we feel like we're around people that are negative, we just have to keep continuing to put up more boundaries more than anything. So it's not about putting up a block, it's about putting up a boundary. And so I would encourage anyone that feels called to starting to work um, with me on boundaries. That's been a big one for me as well. And then we're talking about health, concussion. Okay. Yikes. So I'm sorry to hear that. So yes, I have experienced a concussion. I believe I shared that in, in one of my stories, which turned out to be a blessing because I realized when I was in a relationship, when I had my concussion, that I didn't have the support system that I, that I needed. So um, where support such a big theme um, and health, it feels like when I, when I go back into the painting, it's about really going to, to spirit for guidance, going to spirit for more support, going to spirit for more help. So if you're not going to book in a session with me to get that support um, or doing that work, then at least go up to spirit for support that way, okay? Um, I'm not going to tell you how to do that, even though I know how you could do that. That's important for also for a session, okay? So that being said, it's so different when I do it this way. So again, this is not an ideal way to, sh to show you how I structure things, um, but I am now going to say thank you for all of the loving healing energy that's come forward as I get out of the Reiki energy. Would you also like to know that it's safe to allow new energy to come into your life with joy and ease? And if so, just say yes. Okay, and I'm hearing people say, I can't, I can't, I can't. So um, as we were talking about that root chakra, really remind yourself, especially where I have the IBM statements on the back, what you're pay attention to what you're saying to yourself we want to shift our vibration over to i can do these things i desire these things so watch my needs versus wants video that's going to have a huge messages for you um remind yourself if you called in any energy to thank um thank the spirit that you called in um and then we're also going to get out of the record so we're going to say um basically in this situation with this breath I let go of all that no longer serves me. Thank you. And I now am getting out of my Akashic records. And for myself, for everyone else. And any additional sweeping or clearing or cleansing, if you have Reiki training, you wanna get out of that, just really cleanse yourself, wash your hands. Um, there's someone that's Quite a few people that are watching that could really benefit from some of my sprays. So if you want to reach out and let me know um, if you would like either a smudge spray. I have um, cedar wood. I have, I do have like a Mickey Mugwort right now. I have a Pillow Santo, Pillow Santo and Sage of a crop time. Okay, so let me know. And again, uh, Crystals for the neck also feel important for certain people. So if that's something you're interested in, again, reach out. The shipping is um, not expensive at all. So that's, that's a great and expensive one, no matter where you are, if that interests you. Okay. So bye for now. That was a big session. It's uh, going on almost two. So yeah, that would be a, a relatively, um, oh, I'm just sharing, just sharing this right now. Oh, darn it. 
Um, so that would be a relatively general session would be, we'll say around like 45 minutes, and then we can get a lot done in that space. My sessions typically run from anywhere from 15 minutes to two hours, and that's up to you how long you want it to be. Um, but I also give you kind of a guideline of what I would suggest for you. All right. Love you all. Thanks so much for the people who uh, spend their time watching these videos. I really appreciate it. And especially for those who take the time to share it out with friends so that they can also get the healing benefits. Bye for now. Take care.